Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video which has been requested so many times, I finally got around to doing it, and it is about chocolate perfumes. So these are perfumes that literally smell like chocolate. You want to smell like a chocolate bar? <laughs> so I'm going to be giving you my top recommendations here. There are very few perfumes that fit into this category. It's quite rare. So I'm going to be letting you know which I think the best ones are. If you're new here, then hi, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of other videos just like this. Caramel perfumes, vanilla perfumes, every perfume ingredient you can possibly imagine. So do check out that playlist, I'll leave it down below. And I'll also leave down below the links to where you can buy these perfumes I talk about at good prices in the UK, Europe and US. And as always, if you are a regular but you haven't subscribed, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. Cool, so chocolate or cacao, um, this chocolate fruit, is definitely not an ingredient that we see in perfumes a lot. And Sometimes when it is used, you can't really smell it, doesn't come through. Perhaps it's being used just in the base to add a bit of warmth, but overall the perfume doesn't smell like chocolate. So I'm going to start off with my top recommendation, which I think is the best chocolate perfume, and that is Prada Candy Night. So Prada Candy, if you're not familiar with them, a whole range of perfumes, the original smells like a caramel toffee, very caramelly, quite good for lasting, pretty good for lasting. There's a whole bunch of different flankers, but this version is all about the chocolate. Now this literally does smell like a chocolate bar. It's the kind of thing that if I wear this, someone could think that I've just been eating a chocolate bar, you know, like it's not a perfume. It genuinely does smell just like chocolate. So if that's what you're looking for, this is definitely my top recommendation. It's an eau de parfum, it's strong, it lasts really well. I think the bottle is really pretty with this pink to blue fade. Um, it kind of has this 60s vibe going on. And because it's been out for quite a few years now, you can usually get this discounted at good prices. So it's a bit of a sort of hidden treasure, I think. You know, not many people wear it. Even Prada Candy, the original, is not that talked about. I think it's quite underrated. So this is definitely a bit of a hidden gem, like a secret flanker they would release that no one really talks about. But if you are a perfume chocolate fan, this is the one you definitely have to get. You have a little bit of the vanilla caramel smell of the original, but basically at least over 50% of the smell is that chocolate bar chocolate smell. So that is my top recommendation. My next recommendation is from Clinique, and it is their Cacao and Cashmere. So this is from their My Happy range, which are perfumes that come just in this one size, this little, is it 10 mil? 15 mil size, kind of like handbag ones. And the idea is that you can mix and match them, you can use them for layering or just wear them by themselves. Good size for the handbag. This one, definitely has that chocolate scent as well. It's def it's number two on my list of recommendations. It's just not quite as intense as Prada Candy Night. It smells like chocolate, but the Prada Candy Night smells even more like chocolate because this has the cashmere-iness in. It has a warm amberiness to it, like a cozy cashmere. I'd say it's definitely like wintertime vibes. It's a very cozy feeling. So you get the cacao smell, the chocolate smell, but there is other stuff going on. So it's like a, a warm chocolate hug, like a um, like a chocolate drink or like a hot chocolate or something where there are other smells. It's not just chocolate, but it's definitely number two on my list. I think this could be good if you want to add that chocolate vibe to another perfume, like add this as a layer and it's going to add that chocolatey feel to it. Of course, they're very inexpensive. They're these usually about 16, 17, 18 pounds for these, so pretty cheap. Um, if you just want a bit of a chocolate smell but you don't want to buy like a whole new perfume, um, you don't want to wear it every day. And I love this pink colour, it's really bright, I like the bottle. So number three on my list is from Lush, the, I guess, what are they, cosmetics beauty brand that we, this shop that smells amazing when you walk by it on the high street. They have a perfume range and one of them is called I'm Home. Uh, they're all unisex, vegan, cruelty free, just like everything in Lush. And this one is quite strong chocolate and vanilla. So 
it's that sweety chocolate smell candy smell like a I don't know like having a chocolate from a tin of Christmas chocolates or something um, so you get the sweetness of the vanilla but chocolate is very much the main note it's um, really quite heavy they are quite pricey these perfumes all the lush perfumes are quite expensive but I think you're paying for the fact that it's handmade and the ingredients are quality and it is strong they're all really strong perfumes like really heavy um, so this is more expensive than the other two but it is very heavy and it could be worn easily by a man you know it's definitely unisex but it's sweet um, this is probably the most like towards the more sickly sweet side so those three in my opinion are the three chocolate fragrances there's been a couple of others that I wanted to mention but those are definitely the three best one thing that you sometimes hear about is boss the scent for her now this one has cacao in chocolate in but it's not very strong really this is a peach perfume freesia osmanthus the chocolate in there doesn't come through so don't be fooled by the fact that it has chocolate in I don't think you can really smell it the other two that I wanted to mention are ones that have strong chocolate notes in but they also have very strong other notes in as well so it's not a pure chocolate so the first one is Tom Ford's Black Orchid this one has like a dark chocolate heavy chocolate in it's very warm but you also have loads of other things going on here like black truffle there's a spiciness to this you've got incense in here so it's quite an oriental fragrance all these other strong heavy notes black orchid is known for being a very heavy fragrance but you do have a warm chocolatey feeling in there but like i said you, you also have to like all those other things like incense as well. And then the other one is Mugler's Angel, which is a deep, heavy, chocolatey praline, like a, like a car caramel, sweet, but very, very warm. But it also has huge amounts of patchouli in. It's predominantly a patchouli perfume. I'd say it's like 60% patchouli. 40% like chocolatey caramelly praline -y. you have to love the chili to like this but it does have that warm chocolatey vibe to it but so I had to mention it and of course it's insane for lasting all the Mugler perfumes are really strong perfumes cool so that's my top chocolate perfumes list guys there's not very many to cover let me know if you have any others that you would want to add to this list please do comment down below and let me know um, and let me know if you have any of these. I hope this is helpful if you've been on the hunt for a chocolate perfume. Um, I will leave them linked down below in the description where you can get them. But that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next video.